Okay, this short video is about a magnetic loop with an automatic control box designed to handle in excess of uh, 400 watts and automatically tune itself. That's the control box. I'll come back to that in just a minute. And this is the uh, the loop itself. I'll try and get a better shot here. It's uh, 1.2 meters on a side, and it's tuned at the top by means of a vacuum a variable capacitor made by Jennings and a stepper motor. Uh, at the top here you can see that this is ceramic insulated with a PTFE and soldered straps from the copper pipe 28 millimeter across the top and then on the other side more soldered copper braid to the bottom of the tuning capacitor and then uh, a coupler to to isolate because that's live RF nylon shaft uh, another coupler then to a stepper motor which is uh, 1.8 degrees per step and two, 200 steps per revolution of course and the tuning capacitor itself takes uh, 24 uh, complete revolutions to go from minimum capacitance which is 20 picofarads to maximum capacitance which is uh, 500 picofarads that enables to tune this loop from about 3.7 megahertz up to 4.5 megahertz up to 14.5 megahertz I should say and the DC resistance is about just under 1.8 milli ohms all the way around. That means it's good on uh, 40 meters, 30 meters, 20 meters, but the efficiency drops off quite a bit on 80 meters. Then down the bottom here we have the coupling loop, which is really quite critical. Then here we have um, a tandem bridge which measures forward power, reflected power, and a pick off. Uh, to, to sense the actual applied uh, frequency and uh, this is the control box for it the uh, software was originally written by TF3J I think it was uh, very good software design for measuring forward and reverse power PEP all kinds of cool stuff and I've added some extra functions to it to make it into an automatic tuner so that's the uh, four line tw 20 character display buttons to manually tune the stepper motor down, manually tune it up in sort of frequency and the push button to select automatic strokes of the manual. Uh, a warning LED when the uh, VSWR is above 3 to 1 which then switches in a 20 dB pad if it's so desired and a control knob to uh, change modes of the power meter. So when I first turn it on it does a quick uh, calibration and then just drops into normal power mode. So I'll turn it on, you'll hear whirling and girding, all sorts of stuff going as a stepper motor tunes. Uh, so it sort of calibrates itself. This is with no RF applied at the moment. So power up. And it's in tune mode at the moment. That's showing where, where the stepper motor is. I'm not sure you can see that, but it actually says uh, stepper motor cal weight. That's it, that's calibrated now. And it's dropped back into um, screen saver mode. If I push this button here it should go to auto tune is off so that's just regular power meter now. Uh, that's important you've got to have a way to turn it off because if you don't be able to turn it off if you're transmitting on another antenna and this tune loop picks it up it will try and retune itself. So if I just apply a bit of RF now at um, 7.1 megahertz and we'll do it uh, plus 6 dBm which is plenty of power, it only takes a few milliwatts that's uh, 4 That's four milliwatts of power, we'll turn that on nothing happens of course and the power meter just reads um, that it's got a bad VSWR of 7.1 and uh, 7.3 and forward power of 1.9 milliwatts or so so that's just working as a regular power meter now if I turn on the auto-tune, things happen really quickly. It measures the incoming frequency, calculates approximately where it should tune to, and then runs an algorithm to fine-tune it. So at the moment it's calibrated, it's tuned up at 14 megahertz. So the first, the first time it'll tune, it's got to tune all the way down to 7 megahertz. So it will take a few seconds, but thereafter it gets really quite fast. So here we go, auto-tune on. And there you see, it's measured, it's measured the frequency, that's a target, that's tuned it, and it's done. And it's tuned it to 
1.44 VSWR, the specification is less than 1.5, so that's not a particularly good tune. I can force it to go off tune. Oh, that's interesting, we've got RF in the shack here from it, affecting the uh, sort of measurement. I'll just knock it off tune manually, like that. Instantly the tuner comes back in and sort of pulls it back into uh, tune again. So even if I was to put my hand close to it and touch it, which you wouldn't do under high power because you get a burn of course, it, it compensates and tunes. And if you watch the little stepper motor here, I'll just try and detune it manually. Like that, that's a step of detuning it, let go, and it pulls it straight back into tune again, back down to 1.26. Likewise, if I change the frequency, I'll change it in 10 kilohertz steps, and you'll see it do its thing. And it just retunes, really, really quite quick. 1.11, that's it, 732 mega. I'm using a, a single dry to just do this make it easy and if I go to uh, te 10 megahertz say 10.1 megahertz take a bit a little bit longer but it'll get there and that's it that's tuned to 10 megahertz and it's done so it really does tune very very quickly indeed then then it drops back to being a normal power meter so that's how it works and then over this side of the shack a bit more information that's the VSWR curve from 7.05 MHz on the left hand side to 7.15 on the right. So that's over about 100 kHz and it's tuned to about 7.1. So 2 to 1 is at that point there. So it's got about plus or minus 10 kHz for a 2 to 1 of VSWR and that's the 1.5 line. So it's, uh, it's, it's pretty sharply tuned. I can, I can actually tweak the... Um, coupling loop to make it sharper and then this graph here this XL spreadsheet along the bottom shows uh, frequency from three and a half megahertz to fourteen and a half megahertz along with the step account from zero to five thousand and that's how it plots out and that generates an equation that equation there is what's programmed into the controller uh, to make a rough calculation of where it should put the stepper motor and the stepper motor is driven by um, a little chip uh, one of these actually an A4988 uh, micro stepper controller chip which means you only have to tell it the direction and steps to actually make the stepper motor drive and the controller is actually one of these devices here, uh, a Teensy 2 Plus, plus running at um, 16 megahertz. So that's really how it all works. Just got to put it outside now and uh, use it. The uh, efficiency on 40 and 20 meters looks to be uh, around about 40, 50 percent on, on, on sort of 40 meters and 80 or so percent on on sort of 20 meters. And with this. Um, oh, it just retuned itself because I touched it. This um, Jennings capacitor from RF Parts is rated at 15,000 volts and about 98 amps. And the calculations indicate that this loop could potentially handle about 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 a kilowatt. Uh, obviously, can't put that much power into it. So far, I only put 200 watts into it with, without any trouble, and it always comes up with a nice match. And this was from RF Parts in the US. It was the single most ex expensive component, about $370 from the US. Uh, so all I need, need to do now is to make a proper uh, printed circuit board, finish it up and uh, job done. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.